You know, I thought I was done with my Synology and Ubiquiti 10 gig performance tests, but somebody in the last YouTube video said, what about jumbo frames? Yeah, what about jumbo frames? Quick flyby on jumbo frames if you're not familiar. This feature allows you to increase the maximum transmission unit that Ethernet defaults to, which is around 1500 bytes or so, to 9,000 bytes. In simple terms, it's like trying to move houses using a Ford Taurus versus a U-Haul. You can, you can move houses either way. It's just gonna be a lot more efficient using a U-Haul than it is with a thousand trips with a Ford Taurus, right? Same thing with Ethernet. The trick with jumbo frames is every device in the chain has to support it. So my computer with the 10 gig ethernet card have to turn on jumbo frame. The switch back here has to have jumbo frames. The switch in the MDF has to have jumbo frame. The, the Synology has to have jumbo frames. Try saying jumbo frames five times fast. It, it just doesn't work. So, so let's enable that right now. All right, so on the computer, open your control panel, network status and tasks. That will bring you to this. Hit your adapter settings, brings up a separate window where it shows your network card. There's my 10 gig ethernet. I'm gonna go to the properties. Configure the adapter. We're not going to TCP IP, we're going to the adapter itself. Look underneath here, you've got advanced, uh, right about there, jumbo frames. How large of a jumbo do you want to allow? 9,014 is the maximum jumbo frame supported here. So I'm gonna click on okay. That does reset your network card. Is it, and that, that's something worth mentioning. This resets everything. So, so when you update jumbo frames on the switch, it's gonna go down and back up. If you update the Synology, down and back up. So make sure you're in some kind of outage window when you do this, right? So I've got uh, network card enabled there. Let's go over to my Ubiquiti network in the house. So I've got my uh, let's squeak this in right here. Uh, the the uh, switch, XG, uh, the XG6, this is the MDF. I'm gonna click here, I'll click on the port, which is my uplink to the office. You can see it in the description right there. Click on that, I'll go to the, uh, actually the, the configuration itself, and right there is enable jumbo frame. It's just an on off switch. I'll hit apply changes. Uh, now it's, it's setting that one up, I'll go to the office. Uh, same thing right there, go to the configuration settings, enable jumbo frame, turn that on, and in this case, queue the changes and apply the changes. So now we've got jumbo frames turned on on both the switches. Last but not least, the Synology. Boom, pull up the web interface, control panel, look at the network card, we'll look at the network interface. LAN 5 is my 10 gig connection. I'll edit the settings right there. And MTU value, it doesn't say jumbo frames, it says MTU, maximum transmission unit, and we will drop that all the way down to 9,000. Click on OK, this will restart network services. It's just what I mentioned, right? Click on yes, it's now restarting, and once it's all set and done, the switches, the computer, the Synology, everything in this chain should support the jumbo frames, 9,000 bytes per packet. Let's check the performance now. All right, there was my performance test running over 1500 bytes. That's the maximum transmission unit. I'm just gonna hit the up arrow, hit the enter key, and we are getting, <laughs> uh, oh, there we go. Okay, now, well, no, hang on. We're, we're not running at 10 gig per second. Hang on, checking connections. Aha, take a look at this. Now we know what will happen is if you have a link in the chain that doesn't have jumbo frames enabled, you're gonna get something like, oh, say that, where it's dropping packets left and right, getting terrible performance. Um, it looks like one, and it didn't feel right when enab I enabled that first one. Um, I just had the apply button. So queue changes, apply. Now let's let that thing restart and, and see if we can uh, see how this jumbo frame test works again. All right, let's test and see if connectivity is up. Ping 172.0.250 and we're up. Okay, let's try the test one more time. And jury says, ooh, that's looking better. Okay, better. We're, we're, not, we're not 10 gigabits per second there. Uh, it looks like five, six, five, six, six point oh four gigabits per second versus uh, the earlier test without jumbo frames enabled of around four gigabits per second. So I'm sure if we uh, we try and optimize a little bit more, but that's your update. That I just wanted to try enabling jumbo frames to see what would happen if uh, I'm, I'm just yep 6.1 gigabits per second to see what happened compared to the normal maximum transmission unit of 1500 bytes. Now you know it's that simple.